you don't get to treat me like absolute garbage and then get mad at me for not allowing you to treat me like garbage. You don't get to just disrespect me and then get mad at me for not allowing you to disrespect me. You don't get to feel disrespected because I don't allow you to disrespect me. You don't get to just walk over me and think that I'm still going to allow you to do those things. You don't get to ignore my wants and my needs and expect me to still cater to your wants and your needs. You see, that's not a relationship. That's not a partnership. That's not a friendship. What you should have done was appreciate me when you had me. Because if I can't win with you, then I got to do it without you. It's as simple as that. Ask me, it sounds pretty narcissistic, don't you think? What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So... I can't, there's been this post that's been making the rounds on social media, man. Facebook, Instagram. I came across it. Some of my followers have sent this my way as well. <laughs> I heard one brother say, he said, I clen he said, I clenched my passport when I saw this post. <laughs> Shout out to the homie Reggie, man. But I wanted to show this to you guys because when I tell you this is so ridiculous. I don't it, it's like there is a mixed reaction it's a combination of damn are you really this dumb and then it's kind of like at the same time it kind of pisses you off because it's like damn you can't be this stupid but let me show you guys what i'm talking about give me one second all right you guys so we got this woman here and yes th th this is the woman who made the original post and we'll i'll go over the comments later because she's in the comments as well as well as a familiar face also so y'all y'all in for a good one so check this out things i expect from a man number one pay all the bills hmm yeah that and where have we heard that from well my response to that is drizzle drizzle all right moving right along take care of my kids I guess this is implying that she is a Let them hit it wrong You didn't have second thoughts Now you're a single mom Now you're a single mom Alright, let's see Cook and clean Okay So When she's When I saw this I was like, okay We need to slide all the way back to number one Because if you're expecting a man to pay all the bills it's highly unlikely he's even gonna have time to cook and clean, okay? And if he is paying all the bills, that's the least that you could do. Number four, let me cheat in peace. Now this is right here when I was about ready to spaz the out. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Are you serious? She belongs to the street. Are you serious? You want a man? <laughs> You want a man to pay all the bills, take care of yokes, play stepdaddy, cook and clean, and let you cheat? I'm like, I'm not even halfway through the list and I'm over here like, ma'am, just stay single. Please just stay single. Number five, buy me a house and car in my name only. Bruh. <sighs> Number six, Shut the F up and do what I say. Wait a minute! Who are you? Number seven, massage my body every day. <laughs> Number eight, sex me only when I'm in the mood. I'm supposed to sex you only when you in the mood, but I'm supposed to let you cheat in peace too. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Number nine, be faithful to me no matter what I do. 
Get the French toast out of here. How dare you? Number 10, marry me. And she made sure she put it in capital letters with all the exclamation points behind it. Ma'am, I can tell you right now, one through nine is not going to help you get the number 10. You stupid. <laughs> and any man that has the nerve or the gall to even marry you with these kind of re requirements, that's not a masculine man. Yeah. Man! You're not even looking for a man. Like, let, let's be for real. What you looking for is a slave, ma'am. A cuckold slave at that. But what I found really interesting was the comments. So check this out. This is her right here. And this is one of those rare occasions where I'm not going to block a, 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 a woman's name because what you said was so ridiculous. I wouldn't mind seeing me and troll you. So, you know what I mean? Y'all can get mad and dislike all you want. And she starts off by saying the same list applies to what I expect from a stud. 1,001 laughing reactions. Well, reactions, but... From what I can tell, most of them are laugh, because I, I, I would imagine so. And then, guess who popped up? The very second... <laughs> the very second comment. Miss Daphne Forza and Miss Accountability herself. She said, what are you bringing to the table? And this woman responds, I bring my looks. Y'all see what she looked like, right? She got a nice body. I'll give her that. She's not unattractive, but I don't give a damn how pretty you are. You can be Salma Hayek in, in her prime, and y'all know how I, and you, you've been watching me long enough, y'all know what I think of Salma Hayek. Even Salma Hayek can't get this from me, even if I could afford it. That's crazy. My presence alone is a blessing. To be given a chance with a woman of my caliber is a great opportunity. I'm the prize, not the man. How many times have I told you guys more and more women are starting to think like this? Women literally think just because all these men want to screw them and all these men that they don't want want to be in a relationship with them they feel entitled to have this kind of mentality your looks and your presence what is that are you kidding me right now that's it that's all a man gets for all your requirements ma'am you're not looking for a man that's not a man But I want to see, I, I want to see what her response was. And as you can see, even I had to laugh at it. Look, 84 ha, 84 laughing uh, reactions. And then somebody else said, keep thinking that. And look, somebody over here is simping, whoever Carlos is. It's the confidence for me. That energy, that self-love is through the roof. Then another brother says, bless your heart. And Rick Miller. And she responded. What the hell? I will get surgery. I don't know what that was about, but I want to see what Daphne had to say. She said, I figured you would say that. Seems to me like you're a headache and you bring cheating to the table. Looks like you haven't learned from the first fumble. Time to regroup and think of another play. Hold on. And this is from January 26th. My truth. Me and my baby father broke up two years ago because he caught me cheating. In my defense, I cheated because he worked a lot. Didn't I just say... If you want, if she wants a man that pays all of the bills, he's probably gonna have to work a lot. Reality is, she, she, I'm like, she wants, she wants the beta provider, and she wants the alpha to bust her down. 
when, when the beta provider is not around to be able to give her that attention that she wants. I, I, you can't make this up. Look, and because he worked a lot, there was never any time together but being that he is a big dog trainer. Well, you wanted a man to pay all the bills, that's what happens. See, this is why when women talk this provider crap and bullshit that comes out of their mouth, it goes to one end and out the other with me because those are the men that tend to get cheated on more frequently than other men because those men don't have the time to spend with you because they're too busy out here trying to make the money so that you want so that way you don't have to work or pay bills. I, I had started cheating about two weeks after he proposed when I met this woman. So that explains why she mentioned stud. So she's bisexual. I told him that I've been wanting to be an actress and he supported it. I told him I received an email from a producer asking to star in a main role and that I would be gone for three months. Apparently someone seen me out that knows him and that's how I got caught. I tried to apologize, but he called everything off with us. Good for him. You win. Smart man. I recently found out he was dating another woman and that uh, he was in love. The woman is very successful and she drives a G-Wagon. Yes, I did fake to have one because I wanted to seem as good as her. I'm really hurting on the inside that I fumbled a good man. I will not let that woman get my happy ending. You lose. Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. I'm telling you, man. Miss Accountability, bro. I, I tell you, she, she don't miss. She be catching y'all in so many lives. So, there you have it, man. You, you, you another one. You another one that fumbled one. Then somebody else responded. I don't think her post is serious, but these comments are funny as hell said and then somebody else said what drugs are you on i need that in my life because something you want is something strong then she responds i definitely am yeah you want something and after just reading your um story yeah and and that post was from january 26 so that was what almost three months ago that wasn't that long ago that is crazy and then somebody responded Exactly, because baby, any man worth a grain of salt wouldn't settle for this list. Like, hopefully, no, bot, no man will, because any man that will, y'all need to go back and see what happened to the last guy that apparently was at least fulfilling some of this list. This is insane, bro. You got some damn nerve trying to come up with this list, especially after you fumbled a man that was paying all the bills. So I guess she came to the conclusion that, well, if I got to get a man to pay all the bills, he ain't going to be around. So I might as well be up front that I'm going to cheat on you. Ma'am, just stay single. Just stay single and pay your own bills. And quit trying to keep up with the Joneses. I'm also, I'm not going to let this woman get my happy ending. Man, shut the hell up. Kill me, bro. Don't be mad because you fumbled the bag and he found somebody better. And, 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 and let's be real I would not be surprised if this man after dealing with you decided to deal with her simply off of the fact that this woman is successful and doesn't need his money so now they're working together and they're probably bringing their wealth together to the point where they're going to be well off if they ride into the sunset meanwhile you over here from what I can tell seem to be a single mom and now you out here in the dating market asking for crazy requirements that most men are not going to meet. At least not the men that you truly desire and are attracted to. Drizzle, drizzle. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplug traveler link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces